Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for November 19th, 2021 from Psalm chapter 103. The gifts, or if you want to call them benefits. Verse 1, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So we find out why the psalmist believes. So what are the benefits of being a believer in our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ? Well, the psalmist then names these benefits. Verse 3, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Yes, we have the forgiveness of sins. We have life and life eternal. We've been redeemed from the death of hell. God's love and mercy has renewed our strength and God gives us our daily bread. So all of this comes from the Lord. All these are just a little bit of the gifts, the many gifts that God gives to us. Every time we gather to hear his word, as we gather in God's house. So why wouldn't we want these gifts and have these gifts every day? My guess is that too often we are too busy and too distracted by the world around us. And so we don't always appreciate the many gifts that God gives to us. Verse six, the Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. So the psalmist reminds us how God even delivered the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt. Verse 8, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. Again, we are reminded that God loves and forgives us. Verse 10, he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. We deserve nothing because of our sin. We deserve eternal death, but we don't receive that. Instead, we receive God's grace and mercy. Verse 12, as far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. So God actually then treats us as his own dearly beloved children, all because of the grace and mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Verse 14, for he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place is knows it no more. God knows that we are nothing, but yet God still chooses to have mercy upon us and forgive us. Verse 17, but the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Yes, God brings all these benefits to those who continue to put their faith and trust in him alone. Verse 20, bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obeying the voice 
of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. These are just a small list of the many blessings that come from God. So the psalmist concludes by saying, Bless the Lord, O my soul. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.